Hello, hello, my dear Cancers. This is your horoscope for 2024. Let's start with Pluto, a planet of transformation. Um, to begin with, uh, 2024 itself will be the year of transformation. A lot of um, karma-related uh, um, situations could come up. And because 2024, according to numerology, will be the year of number eight. Uh, and the eight is the... Um, in the horoscope, the eighth house is the house of transformation, of self, of how you view the life, of how you view um, yourself and the things in general in life. Also, one word that describes this year is actually transformation. So Pluto, guys, uh, my dear Cancers, will enter your eighth house for uh, as long as 20 years, for 20 years, and spend there uh, firmly. And once for all, it will enter only in 20, uh, on 20th November. But before that, uh, 21st of January, uh, it will enter uh, to the 8th house, but then it will briefly go out for two months uh, around September until November to your 7th house, where it spent uh, roughly 15 years since 2008, and it, it, uh, it transform, transformed your 7th house um, of self-self-esteem. Maybe you uh, started, you know, 7th house is the, like all sorts of um, relationships with other people, uh, long-term partnerships, your sweethearts, your wife, husband, and um, and business partnerships. So how you see yourself in these um, partnerships uh, also probably changed. You reevaluated, re reinvented yourself. Probably you found what you do like, what kind of partner so you would like to um, have in your life and attract, or and what kind of partners definitely you don't want to have. Probably all these fifteen years you've been going through some uh, rough, let's say, years uh, in terms of relationship with other people. Mm, especially long-term relationships, sweethearts, or business partnerships. It wasn't easy. I see that. I feel your pain as me, myself, as a cancer son. Mm, I say that it definitely transformed me into uh, realizing what kind of people I would like to see in my surrounding and what kind of people I don't definitely like, and I try to avoid. And of course, Pluto is crazy huge attraction planet, so it was also attracting all sorts of people into your life, as it was in the seventh house, so most probably it was a attracting all uh, people who were powerful, uh, let's say, with the big money, with the big um, attitude, with the big um, power and influential people as well. And uh, you might have been marrying such people, like very, let's say, people who have a higher social status, uh, have a stable financial uh, situation, uh, backgrounds, and... Uh, but of course, there were probably breakups, there were uh, divorces, and um, all sorts of transformation and through which you found yourself, uh, finally. Uh, Pluto makes us stronger, <laughs> eventually. So, uh, also... Pluto um, probably were attracting also, uh, let's say, not uh, good people as such as like uh, criminals or who are related in those uh, criminal surroundings and um, this kind of people might have been in your life uh, for the last 15 years as well. But good news that you will be eventually releasing and saying bye bye to these people and closing the door of this chapter of your life for good. Eight house. Well, it's coming to the eight house. What eight house means? Transformation. Again, here is the number eight and um, for 20 years. So Imagine, you can even write down somewhere what is your financial situation right now, because eight house is a financial house. So what is your situation right now in financial terms? Let's say um, what level you are at, like um, are you a middle class or are you a lower class or in terms of earning money and how much wealth you have? So it will be growing. Um, Pluto is big money planet. It's a big money planet. So expect that your financial situation will change. Um, it will, it might, well, it depends who is going through what, right? So, um, of course, it will depend on uh, many sorts of things uh, and your know, natal chart as well. Uh, but uh, Pluto is a big big money planet, so it is coming to your financial house. Most probably what we expect is the big money, mm, big influence. And uh, eighth house is also um, having a... Mm, your um, social status probably will change as well because of the eighth house. Uh, all sort of uh, your um, view on money, your relationship to money, how to attract the money, or you go maybe through some, um, let's say, um, you know, uh, counseling sessions like financial advisors or even psych psychologists, and you will go to these kind of people so that you change yourself, your psychological um, state, and because of that, at the end, your uh, financial uh, situation will change. You know, everything is related. Money is the energy. So what? Uh, uh, and on, on, on which level, on what energies are you vibrating, those kind of energies is attracting to your life, attracted to your life. So uh, my advice here would be actually work with yourself, transform yourself. Tr don't see the money as a, um, you know, way of just um, earning all the, buying all the material things in life, but see it as an energy. Energy needs to be accumulated, attracted on the right vibration, on the right level, uh, and you have to be ready and you have to yourself allow to come this money to your life. And how we do that? We lift ourselves up means we need to um, 
lift our emotional state, uh, you know, to the, to the seventh sky, let's say, to be all the time, uh, let's say, positive, because then positive things happen in your life. Mm. Pluto will transform your financial house in 20, uh, starting 2024, for 20 years. What else? Next. Jupiter, the planet of luck, happiness, and prosperity. Our loveliest, happiest, and favorite planet uh, of most people, let's say. Maybe not most people, okay, who are in this uh, topic. So, um, Jupiter is gonna be your angel. It's gonna be like, it is always the angel of the uh, horoscope. So, now it will fly into your... Uh, uh, until May, end of May, 26th of May, it will still be in your 11th house, which is such a superior position. 11th house is, in ancient times, it was even considered as elevated, most favored house, because it's the house of big dreams, it's the house of your future, it's the house of your hopes and intentions. All that you dream, all that you wish is in the 11th house, or in all, everything is there, is there in the 11th house. So, until 26th of May, I feel like you still have all that you wish in 2023, still uh, will be materializing until uh, the first half of the year while it's in the 11th house and it's the planet of opportunities there will be like more opportunities for your wish to come true this planet will be pushing you to do the things so that your dreams come true to make that first step to go out of your like comfort zone to finally <laughs> brace yourself and go there and do that um and plus you're attracting it and jupiter will be helping you like a little angel uh, surrounding you okay it's not a little angel but it's a big angel which <laughs> jupiter is considered to be big whatever it touches uh, expanding whatever is um under influence uh, of Jupiter, it's just getting bigger. Uh, so your dreams probably, your hunger for dreams would be bigger, your plans, your intentions for the future probably will be even more <laughs> than, than you did last year, for example. Mm. What else? Mm. Also, 11th house is the house of social environment, your friends. Probably there will be a lot of friends expanding since last year, 2020, uh, since last year, May, uh, your friendship circle was expanding, were expanding probably, and you got more friends, more foreign friends, as Jupiter is significant, significator of foreigners. All the foreign things, all the foreign um, people who are different uh, than yours, religion, culture, and language. Uh, probably your social environment uh, w w was growing with this kind of people, and you were getting all along, um, friends and acquaintances uh, from all sorts of walks of life groups communities 11th house uh, and it's also big events social media probably you will be getting some you would still be getting some uh invitations for these kind of big events social uh, yeah, um, media events communities groups to become a member in some group club um, of i don't know some um maybe even some uh, luxury club member there was some uh, there will be coming until may and of course from since last year may you, you were having all these opportunities most probably you already were uh, you are already in the group um, so it will uh, it will keep coming. Uh, also, 11 houses, publicity, online projects, social media. If you would like to be socially present, uh, online present, then this is a very good chance for you to grow your um, community, your followers, your admirers, <laughs> and uh, your fan base, and naturally grow because Jupiter attracts it. And uh, it's the right time uh, to open that Instagram page or open your um, YouTube channel um, and grow your community. And Jupiter, after May 26, will move to your 12th house. 12th house is the house of self-isolation, one-on-one, you know, it's a private house. So from 26th of May this uh, 2024 to 10th of June 2025, it will be in your 12th house. This kind of placement was uh, in, uh, 12 years ago in, tw 20 tw in 2012. So from 2012 to 2013, what was um, your life back then? Uh, just uh, maybe you recall it and um, just remind yourself what was that time? like uh, what was happening in your life, uh, good ones, what was uh, opportunity that time. So these things may come up again, similar things. Um, 12th house is the house of like a private house, you know, and um, cr you probably would be craving more for privacy, more um, for, let's say, one-on-one uh, -on -one kind of job, you know, what I mean is like, a, um, or like more paying attention to self, you know, and the 12th house is also the house of unconscious, our uh, unconsciousness, like our mind, every answer, everything you can find is, you want to find your questions is in our 12th house, so in our unconscious, unconscious mind. Maybe, and it's a good time would be to find some, you know, the, um, let's say, um, people or professionals who do, um, who work with unconscious, your unconscious mind. So to, for example, to heal yourself from kind of some sort of traumas, to um, heal yourself, um, because 12th house is the um, house of a, um, you know, everything that we can't explain, uh, like a magic, something happens for no obvious reason, and it's like a miracle for us. So I would advise to work with uh, professionals who can help you sort of uh, go go to your unconscious mind and uh, clarify whatever is there for you, like bothering. Um, also, um, 12th house is far lands, far, far foreign lands. Maybe you would be in the chat with someone from afar, or maybe you would be contacting someone in the 
all the time in the dialogue, you know, um, in a distance, like a distance, some kind of relationships. Um, or someone who lives very far uh, from you will be helping you as a Jupiter is an angel, as I said. So it comes to your 12th house. Maybe someone from a far land start helping you, sort of uh, will be guiding you or guarding you somehow. Uh, or it also uh, work projects, for example, uh, as Jupiter actually rules your sixth house in your uh, needle chart. So maybe work is going to be related to some foreign far lands or people who are from there who are not near to you. Um, Twelve house is also the house of retreats, religious trips, spirituality, spiritual awakenings, you know, um, some sort of like a treatment. So it's very good. Maybe you would be this year going, uh, starting from May, will be going to some kind of a, um, retreats where you can be one on one with nature because you're craving so um, a few times a year. It's also possible. Or you would go to these religious places as well because Jupiter is the significator of this religious, uh, powerful, uh, you know, the uh, places that give us some kind of energy. Uh, so maybe you would be going to the, the, those kind of places like uh, Tibet or Stonehenge and all sorts of these kind of places. Or also it could be a uh, hospitals or treatments. And if you plan to have a surgery uh, after May um, in 2024, don't be worrying because it will be very successful and it will be, uh, it will go very well. Mm, or maybe you would be, you know, like um, going to some kind of a, um, um, hospital treatments as well, um, not necessarily serious, but just as an um, um, immune booster or um, some kind of a treatment that help that um, help your uh, health, you know, to um, to become healthy. Uh, what else? Twelve house is also house of secrets. <laughs> secrets will be a lot, um, and um, maybe you're even um, you would be also you could be doing some secret jobs, like some secret work, or your work could be related with like a private matters or private um, um, someone's like private information uh, you could be moving to such kind of work and um, um, you could you know it's like you're holding a lot of secrets of some people so uh, it could be um, that you would be also moving to this kind of job or um, you will have a lot of secrets or <laughs> you would be just occasionally knowing someone else's secrets surrounding you <laughs> um, and or just at your work maybe colleagues will be having secrets from you um, could be in many ways, you know, so just expect uh, these kind of things. Also, and lastly, I would also like to say that weight loss, you know, when uh, 2012, uh, during 2012 and 2013, I lost um, weight, pretty, uh, let's say crazy. At that time, I had a really wish that, um, you know, I didn't really uh, felt myself uh, healthy. And I start, um, I went on a diet and did some sport. And uh, yes, all that year, actually, I was losing weight. And um, this Jupiter, if you wish to lose something, because 12th house is a house of loss, uh, means you can um, relinquish, you know, you can you can erase something from your uh, life that you don't need anymore, that you don't like, that you uh, wish to get rid of. So if you want to lose weight, this is your chance after May. <laughs> you will have a right, um, um, how to say, right course of uh, uh, losing weight or right mentor, teacher, whatever way you find it will be very uh, lucky uh, for you and to help you to lose weight okay let's go next uh saturn our planet of discipline taking responsibilities and also restrictions uh will move into uh, it will not move sorry it will be in your ninth house whole year so ninth house is the house of studies maybe you would be studying start studying somewhere but just to uh that you remember it, it probably will be long it will not be easy to get that dreamed certificate <laughs> or a degree, uh, but uh, it will demand your hard work, hard dedication, full dedication and um, work, of course. Uh, nine houses also publications. Uh, maybe you will publish a book this year. If you are planning to do so, there could be a good indication that you would, will be successful. Nine houses also travels. Nine house, uh, Saturn in the nine house means, you know, Saturn because it's a planet of restrictions, could mean that there could be less travels or vice versa could be more, but for short periods because of work, because, you know, um, um, yeah, so um, this kind of like a business trips, uh, like more business trips, but at the same time, it will not be for a long kind of, it will be like short business trips, but then uh, in general, like travels might lessen. Uh, Saturn in the ninth house is also about legal proceedings, cases, matters, legal affairs, all sorts of documents. So um, it will be slower to get something, to get approval of something, or maybe you would be like, a, you know, piling up some documents, gathering some documents, reissuing, requesting, and uh, additional kinds of like paperwork will be there that you have to do. And um, it might be also that uh, um, you, you will be dealing with the, all these um, uh, legal affairs as well um, at some point. Nine house is also, um, Saturn is also a significator of uh, old people, you know, 
So, or wise people. You might meet someone uh, wise or like old who become uh, who become eventually your teacher, who eventually become becomes your teacher, or uh, who would be your mentor, or who you would learn a lot from. You know. Uh, what else? Let's go next. Now, I would like to talk a little bit about a um, eclipses. Well, eclipses will be happening in your fourth and tenth house, fourth and tenth houses. Uh, those houses are gold angular houses, very important ones. Why? Because it's a, you know, there's like a, in the heaven, there's like a um, four angles in your chart. So first and seventh is me, myself and other people and uh, my partnerships, my significant other. And the fourth and tenth, another one is where I live, uh, how I live, with whom I live, uh, where I come from uh, and um, what is my social status, what I do in this life, what is my contribution, what is my value. So eclipses will be happening in your fourth and tenth house, this is where I live and what is my social status. Uh, eclipses will happen because of the uh, lunar nodes will be in those houses. So fourth house, a significator of citizenship, immigration, uh, you might be moving, you might be immigrating, you might be getting another citizenship of another country um, during uh, 2024 or um, uh, you know, lunar nodes, they move every one year and eight months, like plus or minus uh, so, uh, one month or two. So, and you might also recall what was happening nine or 11 uh, or nine or 18 years ago, because lunar nodes were the same in, at this point in your chart. Um, so these themes that were happening at those years could come up again. Uh, fourth house is also parents. Maybe something would be happening in your parents' life, especially mother, because fourth house is the mother, 10th house is the father. So some things would be happening in their life, maybe very significant, very important. Mm, that you will remember forever, you know, uh, or maybe your mom will be coming to live with you, or your father will be coming to live with you, or you're going to move to their house to live with them. Um, Four house is also our own family formation, so you might be building a family, uh, making a family, let's say getting married or uh, um, having uh, children as well, um, because it's uh, four house is also family composition, family members, like members might change the numbers, I mean, like someone, uh, maybe um, you will know that there will be baby coming up, so the numbers will grow in your family. Um, and uh, fourth house is also the real estate. Uh, real estate, maybe you would be buying a house or selling a house or moving to another house um, or decorating house, you know, or you may be investing into some kind of uh, properties or maybe you will have a business which is related to real estate. The tenth house is the father's life and also this is our profession, our career ladder, career uh, status job. So you might be um, uh, having a lot of change. Uh, your career uh, status might rise so you might be getting more responsibilities, more high profile job. Uh, you would be moving and uh, getting a position which is higher than yours now. And your uh, professional life could change uh, for good. And um, or maybe you would be getting a good job somewhere else uh, or maybe you're moving. That's why you would be changing your job or maybe because you got the job. So somewhere else and you are moving because of that. Um, Ten house is also social status. So again, here, maybe you're getting married, right? Married is married status. So your status is changing from single to married or you would be becoming a father or mother. This is also changing status. Um, heading up to your status now um also or if you are that age maybe your grandchildren coming up first grandchildren so your again so your status will be changing so let me tell you when these eclipses will happen during the year uh those era, those times would be most affected by these kind of changes so first one would be coming to 25th march a lunar eclipse in your fourth house so here you would be moving or something with the house real estate you're buying house or selling house or immigrating somewhere uh, these kind of things come up or the 8th of april in solar eclipse in your 10th house, some kind of new project coming or work change or uh, you go up uh, on a career ladder or you are moving because, you know, you found a, you got offer from a, um, a better job um, position for a better job position. So the next one, 18th September is going to happen in your ninth house, uh, lunar eclipse. It's the house of trouble and uh, travel and study questions. Um, you would be dealing with something that you might decide that to travel or not to travel or about the studies that you're doing. Should you do some studies or uh, not to start or how to finish? Um, next one, 2nd October, uh, 2nd of October in your fourth house. Here again, maybe in March you would be selling a house and in October you bought a house, you're buying a house. Or again, here you would be changing again about the citizenship, again about the moving somewhere, immigrating somewhere. Um, here, I would like to also say that um, um, your north node, which is in your 10th house, um, here will be a rare conjunction um, with Chiron in your 10th house, house of career, social status during February, March and April. Chiron is, in astrology, it's a wounded healer, it's a teacher or healer, you know, in ancient times. So it's a half horse and half a human. Chiron, you, uh, it's an asteroid, so it will be conjunct, uh, conjuncting to north node. There is a conjunction between them and I feel like you might become a... Um, a healer yourself or a teacher or you will have influence um over 
a lot of people, let's say, because 10 house is a house of career and status, maybe you will rise to this kind of status where you can teach, you know, and preach. Or you <clears throat> you will find some people, some, some person who would be your teacher. You will meet some this kind, uh, this kind of person who you would admire and uh, think of as someone who uh, would be your, let's say, idol. Um, or this kind of person can help you in rising in your social status, in your career, someone who would be helping you to grow uh, your influence. Uh, or meeting love, as Chiron is a half horse, half human, so it's significator of two, number two, and there, are, there could be some collaborations between uh, you and someone else, um, some good collaborations, so that it will elevate your um, um, social status. Next, uh, next, let's talk about Mars. Mars is gonna um, be retrograding this year, uh, but just the last month of 2024, Mars is our uh, actions, our drive, our activities, our motivation. So from 6th of September uh, until 24th uh, February 2025, it will be retrograde in your second house. So here, during December 2024, you would be probably spending a lot of money, uh, be careful here, um, buying a lot of gifts, a lot of presents, um, or actually, because it's a retrograde, it's very good if you probably would be closing some loans, you know, that you got uh, closing uh, bank loans, credit, uh, credit cards, and it would be a very good time to do that uh, if you have such plans for the next year. Mercury, Mercury, our planet of a, a communication, our thinking, our way of thinking would be retrograding. Um, so Mercury is related with everything redoing, everything changing. Uh, again, it's not like changing now, but changing again. So uh, until 2nd January, it, would be, uh, it will be retrograding in your 7th house. So here are like a, <laughs> all your um, exes in our um all the love affairs that you had before might be thinking about you and contacting you and um calling you texting you again right so next next time it will retrograde would be 2nd april to 25th april uh, in your 10th house here you would be probably revising your career choices your career path your job your status from 5th august to 28th of august in your third house uh, third house retrograde means siblings relatives maybe uh, again the topics that you were discussing with your siblings or relatives would come up Transportation as well is the third house. Buying a car, definitely not a good time at that time. Not a good time in August. Don't buy a car. Or there could be some a lot of miscommunications. So in August, you should, if you travel, if you have to plan travels, you should be checking everything. Did you, uh, did you get your passport, your telephone, everything? There could be some, you know, um, uh, forgetting things, uh, miscommunications, and all sorts of things, uh, and all sorts of um, uh, mismatches. Let's say 26th of November to 15th of December in your sixth house retrograding. So sixth house is the health. You might be uh, re, you know, rechecking your health, or again um, taking some tests, or doing going through some tests and going through some uh, medical analysis, and also your pet, or you would be doing the same for your pet, um, something revising uh, connected to your pet. Mm, what else? Next is Venus, and lastly our Venus planet, planet of love, planet of beauty and money. Our one of our favorite planets will not retrograde this year. Let me tell you this happy news: <laughs> this year will be all the way straight, and. Venus, we all love when Venus in our sign because we feel good, we feel beautiful, we feel we want to express our beauty, we want to, uh, and we are like a magnet to all around us, like everyone is watching us, everyone, we make a statement when we uh, come out, you know, <laughs> and um, when Venus in our sign, we blossom like a flower, and we are beautiful, we feel beautiful, so Venus in Cancer, will uh, transition will be uh, from 18th of June to 12th of July, that time, pretty much your birthday, dear Cancers, will be amazing time to, you know, um, make a statement who you are and uh, wear all sorts of things. But you know what? Like whatever you're gonna wear, all the people will be attracted. All the people's eyes will be on you because Venus is like a magnet. You will be so beautiful to your surrounding uh, that they uh, they couldn't take eyes off you. Venus uh, in the seventh house will be from 12th November to 8th December. We also love Venus in the seventh house. Why? Because it's a house of marriage, house of partnership, relationships, long-term relationships, and our business partnerships. And, and it would be a good time when our sweethearts would might be doing some beautiful surprises, or you would, might feel um, like fall in love again with your sweetheart, with your wife or husband, um, with your partners, uh, with your partner. Um, and uh, and as for business as well, is a good timing. A good collaborations, partnerships could be forming at that time. So this was your. Cancer, this was your horoscope for 2024. Thank you for being with me uh, and wish you the very best 2024. And believe me, it will be that way. Bye.